Hello and welcome to Community Connections. My name is Addison Davis, Superintendent of Schools in Clay County. In this episode of Community Connections, we're going to talk about having a healthy holiday. And with us to be able to make best decisions about having that healthy holiday are students from our career technical programs. As you know, we have a, a, a robust offerings within our schools for CTE programs within our school districts and our high schools. And today we're going to have students with us to talk about how these programs can transition to help us have a healthy opportunities during this holiday break. So today we have three students with us. Thank you so very much for being here. We know that there's so many things that you could be doing, but now it's really important to talk about how we can create a, a healthy experience during the holidays. And we have Matthew with the ViStar program at Clay High School. We have Cynthia with the health program at Oak Leaf High School. And we have Dylan uh, from the culinary program at Middleburg High School as well. So thank you very much for being here. All right, so you ready to have some fun? Yes, sir. Okay, so one of the biggest things I would say is that uh, our budget in the holidays. It is something that we're always concerned about, but we always try to find ways to swipe that card. And sometimes it's not really healthy for our savings account, for our checking account. So Matthew, what are some things that you're learning in the ViStar business program that can really help us from the saving perspective and really make really solid decisions for the, the, the holiday time? Yes, sir. It's just um, having a plan for your money. Don't overspend or feel obligated to um spend more on Christmas you know it's if there's um, a setting or you know be a be a, have a realistic budget um, so if you have a large family make sure you're you you know draw names or have a secret Santa or something so you don't feel obligated to spend so much money money on on Christmas yeah so I mean it, it can happen fast I mean all of us you know when I was a kid I remember I wanted so much I'd write this list down this <laughs> list would be two three pages I'd yeah. give it to my parents I know that because I have two children out there. Their, their list continues to grow as they get older, and, uh, and it can happen really fast. Yeah. We can make some really bad decisions financially, so I, I like the strategies of just being able to, to be mindful about what we're spending, stay within our comfort zone to really create that healthy experience for us. Yeah. It, it, another thing that, that we talk about is being, you know, the, the well-being of, of who we are, you know, physically, mentally during this time of the season. We're going to be, a, there's going to be a lot of parties that we're going to have to go through, holiday parties. There, it could be corporate parties. It could be times with our families that we have to go through. And we're going to be out there really getting to a point where we're exposed to a lot of holiday delights, which Dylan will get to in a minute, but a lot of desserts, a lot of food. We're out shopping, and some of the only way that we can try to, you know, fuel back up is going through that drive through because we're out late, you know, working all day, shopping all night. So what are some things that we can do, Cynthia, just to have a better mindset to feel, you know, to have a, a better holiday from a health perspective? So just as you said, I know that a lot of people are going to be spending time with their families, eating whatever, but the best thing to do is to eat healthy. Make sure you're hitting all the major food groups, you're eating your vegetables, you're eating whole grain, fruits, dairy, and to limit red meats, you know, processed foods, sugary foods, because all of this helps to maintain your cholesterol, which is plaque buildup yeah. in the walls of your arteries. Awesome. Well, you know, it's hard to do it. I know I'm guilty. I'm the guy going through McDonald's and getting that fryer, that waiting that long line at Chick Fil A for that number three, that chicken sandwich. And uh, but we've got to do a you know a better job being mindful. Maybe some snacks that we take with us on the road to the shopping. So anything else you want to add or? Uh... Yes, to stay active, manage your stress. I know that buying presents for fa different family members is very stressful, but it's very good to ma maintain your stress as this helps with your blood pressure. High blood pressure is very common during the holidays, right. and makes it sense. also increases your risk for heart attacks. So make right. sure you're managing yourself, managing your body. Perfect, you know, holiday traffic stress, you right. know, trying to find <laughs> that right t-shirt, that right pair of shoes, that, that right, you know, set of beats, whatever it is, right. you know, that, that right phone, it's all over the place. So. Just, uh, I love it. Stay relaxed, stay calm, stay within budget. And one of the, you know, the last things we want to talk about, making sure we have a, a healthy holiday opportunity, is the the food perspective. You know, one of the greatest things we love food during the holidays, Dylan. It comes to a part where the holiday delights continue to be a, a you know enormous spread for us to interact with, and we always have to taste one of each. So from your side, how do we really get to a point where? We are protecting our bodies from an intake perspective, and from your side, what can we do to stay healthy from a uh, from a from a food side? 
Well, there's some ways that you can stay healthy. Um, like Cynthia says, whole grain is a very good way to stay healthy. Um, lightening on meats, not going heavy on your meats, and staying closer to leaner meats can help you as well as mixing with vegetables. Um, I have a platter here. Oh yeah, let's I'm see eating. it. Let's see it. This is a very inexpensive platter. Oh. It's a uh, tzatziki sauce with cucumber. Oh. You have whole grain pita Let's bread. Um, you have a few celery sticks, uh, carrots, and there are some olives there. Great. You want to join in? <laughs> That's great. Sorry, let me stop you, but I had to, to join in. Take it in. It, 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 looks, it looks great, you know. It looks great, a great opportunity. So this is the biggest thing is to make certain that we're just mindful of, of you know, that intake, you know, make sure that there's vegetables involved, there's few fruits involved. And, um, you know, uh, thank you for, for the guidance. Anything else do you want to add for, for this holiday? I know the cookies and the cakes <laughs> and the pies it's and all, uh, all that takes place, but it, it really can have some some uh, some negative impacts on us as well. Like you said, it's it's all great, it, but it does leave a p impact on you. Yeah, I mean. that's right. So you know, today, thank you for watching. You know, every one of these students uh, have really dedicated their time and their efforts to find a pathway that they can transition to potentially after they graduate, and uh, they are exposed to high-level curriculums, high-level content and internships that will help them lead the way and be able to compete outside the four walls we call our classrooms. Thank you so very much for being here today. We really appreciate it. You know, these, these students are really a true reflection of their schools and their programs. They work so tremendously hard for their cert industry certifications and be exposed to high level curriculums that's going to help them one day in their potential workforce and their career. We thank you for everything that you for, are doing for our, for, our, for our classrooms, for our programs. And more importantly, we thank our teachers. Our teachers are working hard every single day in Clay County to expose our students to rigorous opportunities to help them compete outside the four walls we call our classrooms. Special thanks to our CTE teachers as well, and Alice Polk and, and Kelly Mosley, who lead the work in, in providing robust programs to all of our students and pathways. And I hope each of you have a wonderful holiday. Look forward to seeing you next time on Community Connections, where we'll talk about controlled open enrollment. Have a safe holiday, Clay County, and see you soon.